Do you need to quickly change the color of an object in one of your photos? Well, it's super easy to do in Adobe Photoshop. And in this video, I'm showing you three easy ways to color swap in Photoshop. Let's get right into it. We are here in Adobe Photoshop. And the first method is to use the hue and saturation tool. So what we are going to do, we'll start by going up to layer, new adjustment layer, and over to hue and saturation. We're going to create a new layer, hit OK, and you can see the properties now for our hue and saturation adjustment layer above our background image. So again, this will create a new layer, which means we can turn it on and off so we can see the before and the after. And you can see if I slide the hue slider, all of the colors in my image change. So lots of power in this tool, but this is not really the effect we're going for. We really just want to change one color in the image. So for example, let's change the color of the sky in this image. So I will go down to the hue drop down menu up here where it says master. I will click that and I will go to the cyans because this is kind of a blue cyan color. So now I can adjust the cyan or bluish colors in my image and change them to whatever I like. And you can see the green is just fine. The red is staying the same. Just the blue colors are affected. Now I can also increase or decrease the color range of this effect by going down here to the bottom of this tool and dragging these sliders out. And this adjusts how much of the image is affected when I go and I change my hue and saturation slider. So if I were to move this to the reds, now the reds are being adjusted. If I move this over to the greens, now the greens in the image and some of the blues here are being adjusted. Those greens in the trees really kind of sit in the yellow there. So you can see now the trees are being adjusted. So if I just wanted to adjust the sky, I would take this little slider right here, make my adjustment so that I'm just over the blue area. Kind of drag this back a little bit. And now I am just affecting the blues in the sky. And what I can do is also turn this off and on to see the before and after. This is an adjustment layer, so it is a non-destructive way of editing our image. And if we don't like the way this turned out, we can either turn this layer off or delete it altogether and start from scratch. The replace color tool is the second way we can make a color swap in our image. First, we're going to duplicate this background layer by hitting Command or Control J on the keyboard. Now we have a duplicate layer and we're going to go to image adjustments and all the way down to replace color. Now you will see this replace color box will pop up and we have a couple different options here that we can make adjustments to. So first of all, we will take this little eyedropper tool, select that, and we will select the color that we want to change. I'd like to change the color of this Oldsmobile car. So I'm going to click a yellow part of the image. And what I did, as you can see here, I selected a yellow part of the image. And now that is my primary selection. I can't really see what's happening because the result down here is the same color as the car. So let's change this result color to maybe a red or a purple pink, I actually like that deep red. So this is a good start here. We have some of our yellow selected, but you can see here there are some other parts of the car that are not affected, and I need to add those to the selection. So there is a little eyedropper up here with a plus symbol, and I can go ahead and I can select other parts of the yellow car, and now you can see we are adding to the selection. And we have most of the car, but I accidentally clicked an area and now some of the ground is also red. I really didn't want to affect the ground. So I will select the eyedropper tool with the minus symbol and then select here somewhere in the red area. And that's a little bit better. So what we did is we deselected some of this red color and now we just have the yellows in our vehicle and also the yellow line on the road, which I'm okay with. That looks kind of cool. 
I can turn off the preview, so before and after, and I think that's a pretty cool way to swap colors in Photoshop. Now we did select some of the red back here in the trees. That doesn't necessarily bother me. It doesn't make a huge change to the image. I like the way it now matches the car, but let's go ahead and take a look at one other way that we can swap colors in Photoshop, and it may fix some of our other little issues we've had with the two other methods. For our third color swap method, we'll need to create a layer mask. And to select the color we want to change, we'll use the quick selection tool. And you can also just hit W on the keyboard to get your quick selection tool. I happen to have the magic wand tool. So I'll go up here and I'll click the magic wand tool, click drag and quick selection tool. So what I will do now with my layer selected, I will begin to select areas of my image that I want to change. We'll try and change the car color again. I really like that. And with the bracket keys, you can make your brush larger or smaller. And again, we will keep making our selection here, just kind of painting in these yellow areas. Try to be as careful and precise as possible. I'm gonna make my paintbrush a little bit smaller. We'll paint in some of these areas here. Whoops, I got a little bit extra so I can hold Alt on the keyboard to go and erase and deselect some areas or hold Shift to add additional areas while I'm painting. We'll add in some of the lights here because the lights do have some yellow reflection, which I think is important. And I will again deselect some of these areas of the bumper if it goes over where I don't want it to be selected. We got to add our mirrors over here. That looks pretty good. Add the side, the top of the car. That looks pretty good. And what I will do is deselect some of this in here. I don't need the interior of the car because that's not yellow. Perfect. So now that we have the yellow areas of our car selected, I will go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue and Saturation, New Layer, click OK. And now we have a new layer that we created based on our mask that we just created. Now, if a mask was not automatically created when you did your Hue and Saturation Adjustment Layer, you can also select that layer and go down here to the new layer mask and that will also create a new layer mask so with our new layer mask we can click and drag and now you can see only the vehicle and the parts of the vehicle that we selected see none of the background none of the flowers over here we have none of the buildings over here none of the trees none of these parking lane markers just our car paint is selected and we can change that to anything we want. We can make it a nice bright aqua teal color. We can make it dark blue if we wanted to. We can change the saturation, make it a gray, make it a nice bright red, purple, blue, anything we like. And if we'd like to see the before and after, what we can do is close this window and turn this layer off and back on again. And if we need to re-edit the color of the vehicle, we can just go ahead and click and drag our hue or our saturation and make any adjustments that we want to. Or again, completely turn this layer off and start all over again with non-destructive editing. So I hope you enjoyed this Photoshop color swap tutorial. If you want to see other Photoshop tutorials, be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as liking this video, sharing it with a friend, and subscribing to my Running Gun Photography channel. And until next time, get out and go shoot.